Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV, and I'm here with the Death Metal Dad at the Gates. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. So, for anyone that doesn't know about At the Gates, you want to give us a little history about the band? Um, the band started in 1990, I think. It kind of morphed out of a band called Grotesque, uh, okay. which went two ways. Uh, some guys formed a band called Liars in Wait, and some mm -hmm. bands formed some guys formed At the Gates. So they did a, a mini album. My old band, House of Usher, played a couple shows with them. So we, we became friends. And, and when the guitar player quit in '93, I, I became the new guy. So wow. I'm the new guy since '93. <laughs> and uh, we, we did a um, um, mini album in '91, um, two um, albums that are more, a little bit more old school, but kind of progressive at the same time. And then the, the third. Which is more like a mini album. The first one for me was uh, the first one in a kind of newer direction, more more like slimmed down, uh, more focused on songs. Oh, yeah. um, and then Slaughter of the Soul, which is in '95, which is the album most people talk about today. Then we split up in '96, had a hiatus for 12 years, started playing again in '08, uh, but just doing old stuff. If you don't uh, mind me asking, what yeah. caused the hiatus? Uh, well. Basically, just uh, the the twins, the guitar player and the and the bass player, were kind of just sick of touring, and, and, uh, so maybe we should have taken a, uh, like a break for half a year instead. But you know, it's always hindsight. It's always you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but what we started playing again in '08, and then off and on for a few years, and then eventually we decided, well, if we're gonna do this properly, we have to make new music. Well, not have to, but you know, the, the urge just comes yeah, yeah, yeah. stronger and stronger. So we, we did a, the, the first new album in 14, four years ago, and now this the second one since the since started writing music again. Uh, That's cool. This this spring, yeah. Cool. So how has the sound progressed over time? Uh, well, as I said, the really early stuff was very progressive, like a, a mixture of death metal and King Crimson and okay. bands like that. Um, and uh, and then um, you know we started focusing more on, on um, boring stuff like first chorus. <laughs> no, 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 I like it. I like it. But but uh, more song focus. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, what we're trying to do now is like bring the old stuff and the new stuff more together, yeah. but also going forward at the same time. So so I I think the last one uh, um, to drink is a is a is a good mixture. And I think we'll probably go even further in that direction in the future. So, nice, yeah. nice. So you're currently working on the next album? Uh, we've started, you know, bits and pieces. Uh, cool. Yeah. So now you guys are pretty popular in the U.S. How did that happen? Uh, I think we were just lucky with tours. We we did two really, you know, long support tours in '96, uh, touring for Slaughter of the Soul. Uh, first one with, was with uh, Morbid Angel and Dissection, and the second one a few months later was with uh, with uh, Napalm Death. So we reached a lot of people on those tours uh, who, who were really into the music, and then it just started snowballing after we split up. Uh, so I mean, most bands uh, when they haven't played for a long time kind of become some sort of cult bands, but, yeah, yeah. but for us it just kept growing. And uh, we're just really lucky. That one, so. Now this is a pretty big, spectacular tour right now. You it want to is, tell everybody yeah. a little bit about the tour? Well, it's a uh, uh, behemoth asked us to to come along as as guests on this tour, and, and uh, it's a really good way for us to reach a new crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, we've only done headline tours since since the nineties. Wow! So. Uh, so those, those, those two, two yeah, yeah, those two youth tours I, I, I told you about, and, and, a, and a European tour with Nepal Death in '96, mm -hmm. they were the last uh, support tours before this one, and uh, now we're at a point where we've done quite a few tours, headlining, and, and we're playing to the same people all over, you know, all the time, which is nice, you mm -hmm. know, but but uh, this is a really good chance for us to reach new people, and it seems to, I mean. Uh, if you look at the shows we're playing, playing on, a lot of them are like people are, you know, a little bit cold in the beginning. There's the, there's always you know the, the, the at the gates fan, fans up front, but it, it really feels like we're winning over people halfway halfway through the set. You kind know, of so neat, just pick up new fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's new perfect. supporters and it's a great way to yeah, yeah. do that. 
And you said that this tour goes through Europe and everything. Yeah, it does. It, it goes on um, um, through to the end of November here, and then it, you know, we have a, like a, a Christmas break, and then we're doing the same tour in uh, in January and February in, in Europe. So, That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's and cool. also, you know, Wolves and the Throne Room are you know good band, really good people. Oh so, yeah, great yeah, band. Yeah, yeah. So just keep the momentum going, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. Right. Now, uh, about the new record, you want to tell us a little about that? Some of your singles? and. Uh, yeah, we, we did three videos okay. or singles or whatever. I have a hard time calling it singles if they're not physical, you know, mm -hmm. actual Makes sense. You know, product. <laughs> but but I, I guess they're called singles, videos or whatever. Uh, we th three off of the new one. That's cool. Um, and uh, we're playing two of them tonight. Okay. Uh, the the title track and and uh, a stair bound in stone. Uh, so it's a, you know it's a good introduction to the new album. Uh, cool. And uh, yeah, what else? New album. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask about the set list. You mixing some old stuff and new stuff and uh, all together. Yeah, but uh, we're keeping it the last three albums for, for this tour unless you know we, we have a few headline shows in between but okay. um, Behemoth have uh, some more days off and uh, just to to make good use of the time in, in North America we're, we're playing some some headline shows on, on those days oh, off. that's cool so uh, those shows are more even more fan stuff oriented and, and yeah. we, we try to play one song off of every release at least except for the first mini album um, but for, for shows like tonight, it's only three last albums. But it's, you know, we play 40 minutes and it's, it's just like a <laughs> good fist of yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy <laughs> metal. Uh, so it, it's not really, you know, the dynamics we have on, on the headline shows, they're none of that, just full on for 40 minutes. Cool, cool. Now, if people want to look you up online, find you, how do they do that? Um, well, uh, we have a both official Facebook page and, and uh, Instagram uh, official at the gates, and uh, there is a home site uh, at the gates .se, I think it is. I'm sure .com works also, and uh, uh, I'm sure there's some information. Twitter, on YouTube, all. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but it should be easily, and there's there's like a zillion clips on YouTube as well. So. Cool, cool. Well, it was good talking with you. Right. Look them up.